A prominent metric used by financial firms to evaluate a close-end fund's performance is known as the Internal Rate of Return, or IRR. IRR represents the discount rate that renders the net present value, or NPV, of a series of cash flows equal to zero. The formula might look a bit mm, scary. But the important thing to note is that IRR captures a fund's time-adjusted return, meaning it takes into account the timing and size of cash flows. In this scenario, we see that the timing of cash flows has a significant impact on IRR. This is because IRR is sensitive to large cash flows, particularly when they occur early in a fund's life. While IRR has been the default metric used to calculate fund performance for decades, it does have some limitations. While IRR is a useful metric for uh, measuring the performance of closed-end funds, it's not directly comparable to the return metrics used to measure things like public equities. This is due to a couple of factors. One, the irregular timing and magnitude of cash flows into and out of a fund, the lack of liquidity in the underlying assets held by a fund, meaning the, the companies held by, by closed-end funds are, are private, and therefore they're only bought and sold when, when the owners agree to do so. And that leads to infrequent pricing uh, and subjective valuations in the interim. And lastly, the IRR calculation assumes reinvestment of return capital at the same rate of return, which is not necessarily the case. But there's another fund performance metric gaining in popularity that can help investors fill in some of the gaps. It's called the Public Market Equivalent, or PME. While there are different methodologies and formulas associated with the PME, the original is known as the Long Nichols PME because it was produced by Austin Long and Craig Nichols in 1996. While the numbers are no less complex, the idea is that by using PME, investors are able to compare private capital fund performance to public indexes via a theoretical investment into the S&P 500, creating a more apples-to-apples -apples comparison between private market funds and public market performance. At PitchBook, we prefer the Kaplan Shore or KSPME method, though there are several in use. A couple of the benefits of the KSPME are that they allow the direct comparison to the index of your choice. The calculation is intuitive and easy to do, and it uses the observed cash flows then, rather than making any adjustments to the cash flows of the fund. As with all measurements of private fund performance, there are trade-offs with each method. While PMEs offer some insights that IRRs do not, it's by no means a silver bullet. Some things to consider when you're using a PME to, to measure return are PME is a relative measure of return in that you are comparing directly against a particular index or equity, and so it is not an absolute measure of return. PMEs also assume that the timing and magnitude of your investment into the public markets match that of the cash flow cadence and magnitude of the private fund, and that's pretty unlikely to happen in real life. And thirdly, PME is also subject to the similar setback as IRR in that the underlying assets in a closed-end fund are illiquid, and so pricing is therefore subjective and infrequent. At PitchBook, we know that understanding fund performance is vital to success as more investors enter the private markets. For more news and analysis on the evolving capital markets, visit PitchBook.com.